Hello, and also I'm going to talk about Graham Clark, Graham Clark with an E, Clark with an E. And this painter is not very well known at all in England or anywhere else. Uh, but I think personally this artist is going to become really well collected. And I'll, I'm going to try and explain to you the reason why I think it's a good art, he's a good artist. I'm going to try and explain to you. Um, when I was born in 1971, uh, this, this artist was, was up and running, along with characters like Trevelyan and um, John Piper. And they were painting commercial products in England. For example, they would make Christmas cards, they would make illustrations of books, they would make uh, text, uh, tea towels, aprons, melamine trays, uh, the transfers for, po for pottery, illustrations in school books, and advertising generally. It, it, there, was a, there, was, there was a manner of illustration which was prevalent. And it, would, it was in the, in the books, it was in the reference books, and it, it is a style which is very, very over time. So when I saw this picture, I, I became bleary-eyed because um, I, I remember um, this is what it was like in England. Because, because publications and, and popular culture was using this sort of imagery presented like this from a variety of artists. So in Warwickshire where I was born, there was a church, there, were, there, were, there was cattle, livestock, there, there, were, there were gardens with, with rows of or vegetables. My father did the same thing. It was like that. There was forestry. There, there were there were there was there was arable, livestock, orchards, grazing, hay. There, there weren't many. To be fair, there weren't many hayricks, horse-drawn carts. You you would see them occasionally. They they they're gone now. But that's what was happening when I was a child in in, in uh, England in Warwickshire, and nearly all nearly all of his pictures pull at those same strings, and they're, they're very emblematic of those, those times. He does have a, another type of art, which is slightly jovial um, and informal, which I don't like so much. But it doesn't matter, that was his commercial enterprises. But the, these pictures, this is called Harvest Moon, this is an original picture, original painting. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted to have bought this picture. This is my, the moment, the, 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 the most, my most favourite picture I've got anywhere. I think it's absolutely a beautiful thing, and um, you've got the moon, the moon, the hill, the church. As I say, that's that's what was happening. So I like that. Uh, we bought this as well. This is also Graham Clark. This is a print. That's a picture painting. This is a a print. I bought it because it was inexpensive, and I bought it because it was a, like a triptych in a way because you have this gable top, and uh, I bought I bought it along to Malta. Uh, it says Adam and it. Um, Eden, Eve, in, in Adam, 246 or 300, signs Graham Clark. And it's quite an, an interesting picture. It's very informal and slightly playful. But I think it's great. And uh, it's been in, in the Neville Gallery in Canterbury, which I don't know, know of, I'll look it up. So that's in Malta for somebody likes Adam and Eve. Limited edition print of an unusual shape. This is the this is the style of this is the original. It has this linen which is characteristic of the seventies. It has real gold leaf. You can see the overlaps in the gold leaf where it's been stuck on. Um, when you look at it at, at the distance, you, you would be forgive, forgiven for thinking, oh, it's a print, but it's not. It's, it is painting. A, a painting you can see as you look across. He's used some interesting colours. This is a shiny white glossy paint, for example, here. So it's ink, it's paint, uh, wonderful thing. The time when this was made in Warwickshire, sorry, sorry, in England, was when um, you had this book called John Seymour, Self-Sufficiency, Self and you had this programme called The Good Life. And there was, a, there was quite a lot of um, popularism with growing your own vegetables and even rearing your own animals. And uh, it was all part of the scene in those days. And that's become historical and, and long forgotten, obviously now. But I can recommend this artist. You can pick his work up in England. M many of them are prints. Uh, I think they are going to go massively high. Uh, it's just a matter of having confidence and, and uh, deciding whether, whether you can live, live with it or not. I, I think that's a great thing. Thanks for looking.